Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be getting set up for the month of September which is the first month of final year of my PhD. I'm gonna be honest I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of work this month. I haven't been away all summer and I tomorrow on the 5th I'm going away for three weeks so pretty much the whole of this video is just gonna be me just sharing with you what my travel plans will be and doing a bit of reflection on how last month went in terms of the PhD work and what PhD work I'm sort of planning on doing this next month, giving you a bit of an update with the business. Basically, this is just going to be a sort of update PhD life video for you. So I hope you enjoy. Let's firstly go through what August was like in terms of PhD, in terms of life, in terms of the business that I run. PhD, first of all, it was a month that I had a lot of presentations to prepare because part of the travel plans that I have coming up are going to a, an in-person conference where I'm giving two presentations. I gave a presentation yesterday at a sports symposium, which had, I think, like 300 something people in person and online. And that was really good. That was actually my first in-person presentation that I've given on any of my PhD research in the full four years because of COVID. So that was pretty nerve wracking, but I think it went well. And so I've had a lot of presentations basically to put together. And also earlier in the month, I worked on a submission for a pretty big AI conference in applications of AI. And a lot of that research and write-up, I ended up having to take a lot of the, the writing work at least myself and like not really have too much input from others because it was getting towards the deadline and my supervisor was away. So this is the first paper that I've submitted where I didn't get a huge rewrite of what I've done. Um, so I'm not feeling super confident about it because usually when my supervisors rework my papers, they obviously turn out way better. And so the, there's like lots of things that I think you don't notice in your own writing that getting a second pair of eyes or a third pair of eyes can be good for, but there was just not the time for that. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'm finding out about that next week, which is crazy. I'm not feeling confident about it, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but I think it's a really good piece of research and like everyone co contributed like really good ideas to that. And I think if it doesn't get in, it will get in somewhere else. It's, it's just a pity if it doesn't get in here because I was hoping to get to that conference, but we'll see. So that, I think the submission was like mid-August. And after that, I've just been working on all the sort of admin uh, presentation work, cleaning up some of my code and stuff like that. So that's what I've been up to PhD wise. In terms of the business that I run, in case you're new here, I run a speech and drama school. Not something I intended to do during my PhD, but I was sort of being set up to take up to take over the school, you know, at some point. And then the person who had been running it since 1959 passed away in the summer of the first year of my PhD. And I then had to take over the school at an earlier point than anticipated and sort of bring it up to a position where it's doing well so that we have uh, staff that can get paid and that we have enough classes for the staff to get paid and all of these things. So the biggest thing that I've been doing this last month, we finished up all of our summer courses and those went really well. We are opening three, um, like two new venues and reopening one venue for classes for autumn term, which just jumps us up in terms of scaling. Our goal, I think, is to get to 250 students. I think I said in the last video that we had them, but that's that's our goal. So I think I've just been manifesting that out in the world. So 250 students is the goal for this term. And this time, three years ago, we were really trying to get to 50 students and get back up to where we had been in terms of the the numbers. And it's not really about like the, the numbers and trying to get there, it's more that I think my drama teacher would be really proud to see that the school has been able to get back to such a high level that it was at a number of years ago. So that's sort of what keeps me going with it. So what I've been doing is all of the setup for autumn term. We start back on the 26th, so we still have a bit of time to, to get in some new students. This is the first year since then that we've been advertising our classes because we really were just getting by and basically taking in whatever students you know got in touch with us and not really trying to get in necessarily new students in the previous years because we were just getting by so the last couple of years have been like survival mode whereas now this year is all about 
uh, our standards and making sure we're really high standards, getting back to doing really high quality performances, uh, crushing it in competitions, exams and um, and that. So really looking forward to this next year. September and like back to school is definitely my favorite time of year. So that's why I love that the business is like, it definitely is generated around that sort of academic year. Um, and the same way, like I don't think I could ever leave academics just because of the back to school season. It's just the best time of year. And I suppose it's weird this year because I'm gonna be away for the first couple of weeks of back to school. So my back to school really starts at the end of the month. What else has been going on? So I am starting a new job, which is just a couple of hours a week doing lecturing. And I can't remember when I officially found out about this. Um, it might have been, I think it was some, it must have been sometime in August actually. So that's why I haven't shared it with you yet. Um, so that's really exciting. It's gonna be a great thing to have on my CV and I'm looking forward to it. It's, yeah, it's just four hours a week, just one module uh, in person lecturing. So I'll try and take you guys along the journey of my preparing for these uh, lectures and what it's really like doing lecturing work. In terms of personal life then, it was a pretty good month for like health and exercise for me. I think <clears throat> I've just been finding it easier and easier to just wake up and do a workout and I've not really been putting it off. Um, another thing is I've been dealing with some like chronic like period pain for the last number of years and this month it's not been as bad. I got my IUD changed in July to a hormonal based one and that has definitely been helping. And the other thing that's been really helping is this device that I got which is called an Uvi. So it's got these like kind of like if you've ever worn a backless strapless bra like those things that stick to you and then it sort of basically sends you like electric pulses so you put it on like your lower abdomen or your lower back um if you have cramps and it like sends you these like pulses like electrically i don't really know how it works but it's basically meant to block the pain signals from getting to your brain so it kind of blocks the nerves from sending the pain signals to your brain i think and it has been absolutely transformational in my life 100 percent already it's just taken the pain from being something that was completely debilitating like i mean could not do anything when i'm in that level of pain to being able to just be out and about and doing things because it is quite small like you can't really it looks big but it's quite thin you can easily wear it under like a skirt or like a baggier pair of jeans um, or like if you have a baggy top on like that nobody you know what I mean like you can easily wear it underneath your clothes and nobody will see it and so it's very discreet and like you could have it I bring it with me literally everywhere have not been leaving the house without it only one day last week I forgot it and it was not good because that was the day I got here with some bad cramps and it's really 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 been helping so yeah, it's definitely, in the, I'd say it's in the top five things I've ever purchased. This isn't sponsored. I think, I don't know, I'd love to get in touch with them about a sponsorship, but it's, I think it was about 100 euro. My sister was telling me there is something that you can get in boots that is similar, that is not as expensive, but I think you have to like put them on different points of your body. So it's not as discreet in that you can't just be out and about. Like if I get a pain, I go into a bathroom, I put it on, and then the rest of the day I'm able to just walk around with it on, which is just amazing. Um, and I can pretty discreetly like manage to hit up the settings so you can like make it more intense if you if your pain gets more intense you just hit it and then the pulses get more intense amazing um so it's just been a good month for like yeah just general well-being um I was in Galway at the start of the month so that's always a good time we did a pretty nice time when we were there and also went to Kilkenny with the theatre school for a staff trip which was really nice um, and that was just that was just really good buzz. Another thing with the business, we got some office space this month. So this is something that I've been trying to do for the last two years. Um, finally get somewhere to put all of our stuff and somewhere that we can work. And I'm just really excited about it. I don't really have any clips of it or anything, but I can't wait to start putting all of our stuff from my family home, me and Jack's house, from some of the other drama teachers' houses all in there that we can have easy access to be able to do our admin work be able to do our casting work a lot easier so just really really excited about that i think that's pretty much 
pretty much it for how the month went. In terms of like the goals that I set, the health ones went well, PhD ones went pretty well, not 100%. Social media ones have not been going well. I don't know what is wrong with me that I can't get back on Instagram. So I'm hoping that being away, I will just start doing some posts because I usually do some posts here and there when I'm away. And because it's my final year, I really do want to try and share as much as possible about how final year is. And like, I think this will be the most important year of the PhD in some ways. So I'm hoping to share as much as possible about that. So let's talk about this upcoming month then. So it's already the 4th of September, the way my head works with this was this week was connected to August because of the work that I was doing. So when I'm doing these resets, I just do like it, it in phases. So these next three weeks is sort of their own thing. And then we have the back to school week on the 26th. If you caught my video planning my schedule, you will have already seen what I'm gonna be doing on the week of the 26th. So that is out there already for you. So I won't talk about my schedule and what I plan to do that week. But in terms of the next three weeks, so tomorrow I am flying to Berlin in Germany pretty early in the morning. And me and Jack are gonna be there for four days. On the fourth day, we're flying to Amsterdam for a couple of days. Then I'm flying to Paris for one night. Jack's flying home. And then the next morning I'm going to Nancy or Nancy, I should say, in France for a conference. And this is my first in-person conference in the whole three years so far of doing my PhD. I've presented at this particular conference twice before and I've done their doctoral consortium once before. So I'm presenting and doing the doctoral consortium in this conference. That conference goes from Sunday to Thursday. And because we're in the doctoral consortium, we got a scholarship. So our accommodation is paid for and our registration is paid for. I don't think I'm gonna expense my flights just because I'll be flying somewhere else afterwards. I don't know, I definitely can't pay, like have those paid for in my budget, but it means basically, again, I'm not spending any of my travel budget. So I still have all of my travel budget to use for final year. So we'll see what I can do with that. But I think that week that I'm at the conference, so from the 12th for that five days is when we have the rebuttal period for the paper that we submitted. So I'll probably have to do work on that if, well, I don't know, probably not probably in a way, because if it gets a straight rejection, then we won't have to do any rebuttal. But if it has chance, then we will have to do a rebuttal. Um, and my supervisor will be at the conference as well. So we can work through that together. And I'm going to the conference with a couple of other students from my university. So it should be a good time. And then the Thursday that the conference ends, I'm flying to Vegas to meet my friend who lives in New York. And we're going to a festival called Life is Beautiful, which is going to be pretty good. It's Arctic Monkeys, Gorillaz, Calvin Harris, and lots of other DJs and bands and solo singers and stuff. So looking forward to that. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go because I feel like my time zones are gonna be completely messed up, but we'll see. And then the following Tuesday, we are flying to Los Angeles. So I'll be visiting a couple of people that I would have known when I lived there and just hanging out, enjoying some sun hoping to get a tan because I've been living in this fake pale self for the last couple of years and I'm excited to get out of it. And then coming home from like the Saturday morning, I leave Los Angeles and I arrive home really early Sunday morning. And then I'll just have that one day to mentally prepare for back to school season. So get that's getting back to lecturing, teaching hours for my university as well, um, teaching my own drama classes, running the school, uh, like the whole week of new classes and PhD work. So that week is gonna be insane. Um, so that's why I have a nice three weeks before to, <laughs> to mentally prepare for it. I'm not setting any goals for this month. And what's weird is I've watched a couple of people's resets already and they've also not been setting goals. So I don't know what's going on with everyone, but nobody wants to set goals this month. Um, like obviously for me, it's like I'm away. I don't really intend. I want to keep it really open because I think I get really creative work done when I'm traveling and I just want to leave it open. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm sure I'll get something really good out of being away. And that's why I'm hoping I get to travel a good bit next year because I feel like that's going to be a great way for me to write my thesis. My whole master's thesis was written in a week's holiday in Cyprus. 
and it's just where I work best so we'll see how it goes so yeah no goals I'd like to read a good bit when I'm away that's the only thing because I haven't read a full book this past month um being at the in Kilkenny because we were there for the arts festival was really nice because we saw a play and we saw a, a new collection of poems being written by Paula Meehan who's an Irish poet and that was really good but yeah otherwise I don't think I read a whole book last month and so I'd like to do that at least a couple of books while I'm away I also want to keep up my like exercise while I'm away so maybe those goals maybe it'll just be that kind of personal care like I want to do maximal personal care while I'm away especially this first week with Jack like we have not planned anything and I'm just looking forward to having a chill holiday because our last holiday in Italy while it was amazing and I would do it in a heartbeat again it was crazy busy we were up really early every morning and so we're just gonna try and take a chill enjoy the cities and have a good one like I'm, I've been working the last couple of weeks just getting my task list as low as possible been doing all of the life admin work and I have recorded I think most of a week in my life I definitely forgot to do the last few days but I've recorded most of a week in my life that will be going up while I'm away and I'm hoping to also have a vlog of the conference going up while I'm away um but it's just been life admin like and general admin for the business admin for PhD just trying to get my tasks as low as possible so that all of my to-do list is nothing while I'm away and I don't have to think about like oh I didn't get this done or I still need to do that there's a few things that I plan to do while away um, in terms of just doing like my class planning for my drama classes which is something that I enjoy doing and that's really something that I will be glad to be doing while I'm away in a weird way other than that I am keeping it loose um, so I think that's it for this video uh, probably wasn't the most reset-y kind of video but I feel very reset if that helps um, I think that's because of all the work I've been doing the last couple of weeks it's been like a hectic couple of weeks um, just getting all of this stuff done I'm really looking forward to the couple of weeks off now I'm just hoping that I get a nice proper break it's really the first proper break that I'm taking this time two and a half years ago maybe thank you so much for watching if you got to this point in the video maybe think about subscribing and I'll see you all very soon